Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris. I just wanted to mention that my books are out now on Amazon. So if you search Samuel Keith Harris, you'll find my first three books there. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris, and I am back with another quick teaching. This teaching is very important because this is a very sobering and terrifying portion of scripture and i want you to get this image ingrained in your head so if you have your bible open it up to revelation chapter 20 revelation chapter 20 this is not a book you should stay away from this is a book you should dive into because it shows the majesty of god it shows the horrors of hell it shows the the beauty of heaven and the terrifying nature that people are going to be thrown into the lake of fire and they will burn in eternal punishment forever and ever so revelation chapter 20 and verse 11 the bible says and i saw a great white throne and the one sitting on it the earth and sky fled from his presence but they found no place to hide i saw the dead both small and great standing before god's throne and the books were opened including the book of life everybody in the world who's ever lived that didn't know jesus will be standing before this throne called the great the great white throne how terrifying to not know jesus that's why the bible says they flee from the one who sits upon the throne obviously they're not god's children they're terrified of god and the dead the bible says and the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books god is recording what you're doing with your life and every single work you do will be brought into judgment and for christians that think this doesn't apply to them your works will be judged at the judgment seat of christ yeah the christian who knows jesus who's not living in sin will be judged by the works that they do the motive for the works that they do so it's terrifying even to approach the judgment seat of christ let alone the great white throne judgment where you don't have the blood of jesus where you're not forgiven of your sin where you've lived your whole life you never repented and now it's time to pay up with eternal punishment the bible says the sea gave up its dead and death and hell gave up their dead and all were judged according to their deeds then death and hell were thrown into the lake of fire this lake of fire is the second death and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Let's read verse 14 one more time. Then death and hell were thrown into the lake of fire. How terrifying. See, hell's not the end. Hell is the waiting place where people are being punished right now. It's fire. It's suffering. It's horror, terrifying punishment right now. People are burning in hell but that's not it hell's gonna give up its dead they're gonna be judged for their works and then after that they get thrown into the lake of fire and there is no way out of the lake of fire now there's no way out of hell until god calls you up to stand before him for judgment but once death and hell get thrown into the lake of fire and after you get judged for every single sin you've ever committed if you don't know jesus christ you will be thrown into the lake of fire you who lives an ungodly life what's ungodly to live a life without god if your daily routines have nothing to do with god sin is in your life and you're okay with sin being in your life you are going to hell and then you're going to be resurrected to stand before god at the great white throne judgment you're going to try to flee him you won't be able to get away and then he's going to judge you for everything you've done in your life and then you will be sentenced and then you will be given over to the tormentors what does that mean thrown into the lake of fire the second death where the worm does not die and the fire is never quenched so if you don't know jesus you can give your life to him right now i suggest you fall on your face you repent of your sin and give your life to jesus he'll cleanse you he'll forgive you he'll wash you he'll make you a brand new person he'll make you righteous give you new desires 
desires that please him and fulfill him and he'll fulfill and satisfy you as you live in him now is not the time to play with sin get rid of sin or sin will get rid of you